Hi everybody, Disney here. Welcome back to Paper Lily. Chapter 1 Part 5. This will be the continuation of my poor voice. Mix settings day so audio is still, so I'm sorry about that. This part also includes some potentially triggering topics, so please be aware. If you enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave any suggestions. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Ho <laughs> ho ho! stairs that go further down, but it's completely flooded. Mailbox, it's empty. Hmm. A house? Why is there a house so deep underground? Oh, maybe someone lives here. But if there's an entrance to a house down here, maybe there's also an exit on the other side. Don't you think? Well, no way to go but forward. Guestbook, it has no signatures. Okay, painting that's mostly just blue. A bunch of blue powder sticks to your finger. You wipe it off. Hang on a sec. Places and this place is strange. What tipped you off? The hallway filled with creepy faces? No. No? I mean, yes, but don't you feel like this place is strangely cozy? It's almost like it's decorated with care. Now it's cozy. What are you doing? We can probably relax here for a while. Feels like a bad idea to relax in someone else's home. If we're quiet enough, they'll never know. Besides, aren't you tired? Yes. We deserve a break anyway. I don't know about this. I mean, it's wholesome, but... You're right that this place has a creepy but cute vibe to it. The fireplace is cute. The fire is nice. That's a weird thing to say. Are you into burning things? What? No! I just meant that it feels peaceful here. Yeah. I'm not very good at conversations. You're fine. Oh, that's one of the most kind of heartwarming things people would say. It makes my heart little. I can they say you're fine? Anyway. So, what's got you doing deadly rituals? Huh? Well, normally people who come here either have nothing to lose in their life anymore. Or they're just plain dumb and reckless. Which one are you? Dumb, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what's your deal? You don't have to tell me if you don't wanna. But I'll just annoy you until you do. Or until you ditch me. Oh. It doesn't make sense to ditch you yet. Yet? Alright. Alright. I suppose I can tell you, but it's going to get long. I have nothing better to do. How should I put this? There's something very wrong with me. But it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. I'm all ears. It's possible I may be possessed. No, I'm definitely possessed or cursed. It's been like this since I was little. Back then, I used to think I have a black cloud that just follows me everywhere. It makes people run away from me. It makes them hate me. They always have this terrifying look when they look at me. Sometimes it turns into hatred or anger. With animals, it's even worse. Dogs will bark at me and I can't even get close enough to pet a cat. Or today I tried buying something at the store and failed horribly. 
I hate that I can't even do something as simple as that. It's like just being around me makes people tense and aggressive. But I know for a fact that it wasn't always like this. I have memories of my childhood where things were fine. Something must have changed at some point. And then everyone suddenly started acting differently with me. For a really long time, I thought it was my fault. I thought that maybe I'm just broken and different. I thought I did something wrong. I thought people had a reason to hate me so much. I know better now, but that doesn't change how it feels. This thing inside me, whatever it is, it's isolating me from everyone. Even my parents hate being around me. They leave the house for weeks at a time and make excuses if I ask to come along. My brother is the only one who's there for me every time. And I know how hard it is for him. But somehow, he never falters. Without him, I... I've been trying to get better for so long. So this ritual is... Well, it's my last hope. If I fail to find answers, then I'll probably give up on everything. I can't bear to live like this anymore. Still, you should know about this. You've been around me, don't you feel it? Huh. Let me see. Oh, they're kind of cute. Yeah, you're right. You've got this weird, ominous aura. Feels dangerous. Doesn't bother me. Oh. <laughs> really? Nah, I guess I felt worse. That doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with you. Is this person... not human? Is that why they couldn't enter that room earlier? Ha! Says the possessed girl. Rune said possessions aren't a thing, so it might be a curse. But you don't buy it? So what, you came here to get exercised? I've tried that already. I wouldn't have come here unless I exhausted my abilities beforehand. Smart. No dice then? Nothing. That sucks. Have you tried throwing table salt at yourself? I hear it wards off demons. It might get rid of your curse too. Very funny. You seem to know quite a lot about this place and the rituals. Ah, uh, yeah. I did a lot of these rituals to kill time. What? I'm surprised you're not dead yet. You know what they say? Hey, you know what they say? Idiots don't die. I don't think anybody says that. Haha, uh, maybe you could start saying it then. So, is your curse the reason you're trying to find the lighthouse? Yes, I was told there's someone there who can help guide me. Oh. Do you hear that? Yes. I'm really screwed now. Even if I wake up from here, what can I even do? Let's see. The monster just put me in a cage and will probably eat me or something. Even so, it's not like I can stay here. This place is useless. 
Let's just find the exit and see what happens. Oh, the third room now. There she is. That's her. She's so cursed that the bird dropped dead. If she can make a bird die, I wonder what she could do to people. What a freak. Hey, you killed that poor bird. No, no. It flew into the window next to your seat. But I didn't. It died because of you. This is your fault. My goodness. This isn't my fault. Can't believe you're still acting innocent. You disgust me. You cause nothing but ruin everywhere you go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. I, I didn't do anything. Maybe you should do something. Huh? To make it up to us, why don't you take responsibility for messing up everything? How? Mm. Make her eat it. Yeah, eat the bird. What? You heard them. Eat it, witch. If you eat it, maybe we'll forgive you. Eat the bird, murderer. This isn't real. Do I really have to do this? No. Please, just do what they say. isn't it? Uh, it hurts, it hurts. When am I waking up? Did this stupid nightmare end. Why? It's just a dream, so why? You know what? I was curious. Hey, where do you think you're going? Entering the wardrobe. Push through. How did I get out of there? I'm out of my cage. He's still trying. are gone. Without that doorknob, I can't go back home. Locking up a bird like this, or is it just a regular pet? Good job getting out of that. 
I didn't get to see what you did, but you must be really good at passing through solid steel bars. Thanks. Looks like you're in a bind yourself. If he was a demon, he could have just used his powers to escape, right? Or maybe he just doesn't care? Listen, you probably shouldn't stay here. If that monster lady heard the noise you made and comes to check, you'll be in trouble, you know? Mm, you're right. Well, see you. Where are you going? I'm going to look around a bit. And... I should try to find an exit, too. And nothing else? Are you serious? Get me out of here. Uh, of course. Sure, I'll try. Alright. Come on. Help her guy out, man. Lost all my items. Do you still have your belongings? My stuff? It's all gone. I guess the demon lady took it. I see. That's really bad. I can't go back home without my things. Wait. What did you try to buy? What? You said you tried to buy something at the store today? Why are you asking this now of all times? Just curious. It, it was just a chocolate eclair. Huh. Do you like eclairs? Chocolate only? Is this really the time to have this discussion? When else? I'm bored now, not later. It's not like I have much to think about in this cage. I'm leaving. Wait, at least tell me your name, and I'll leave you in peace. It's Lacey. Huh. Will that be all? Yeah. I'll be going then. Good luck. Try not to get killed. Mm-hmm. Not sure where I am right now, but all I have to do is find the exit without running into that monster. Or should I help that guy first? Come on, help him. The one who did this to her after all. Glenn, back off. <laughs> if I'm correct, you're getting yourself into a messy situation. I'll be fine. Scans out, read a passage. I don't know why I've decided to talk to you. Maybe it's because you look really pitiful. You're so worthless that no matter what tests they put you through, you failed them all. If I had just left you alone that day, you wouldn't be wasting all our time. You wouldn't be wasting your own time here. Tomorrow, Glenn will discontinue your tests. You better thank me. I'm the one who told him to. I'm just sick of seeing you. Okay. Lots of books, lots of books. painting, it seems to be missing both eyes. That's not creepy at all. Psst. Over here. Oh, a human. Oh, a human. I see. Strange. How did you make it all the way here? way out of this place. I'm looking for a cursed door. Of course. We have a common goal. To avoid 
strange objects scattered around this place. After you find them, you need to figure out how to unseal them. How will I know what I'm looking for? You'll know when you see it. Okay. I hear her coming. We need to hide. Go now. Give it a flower crown once a month. Plant with a tiger touch that says requires medium light. Provide alcohol twice daily to keep its leaves moist. Water is a valid substitute as it can't tell the difference. Dang it, do I have to do? It says requires dim light. Beat it once a day to avoid irritability. Appropriate diet includes meat of various kinds. Requires medium light for enrichment. Provide music. sort of stew. It's cold and it doesn't seem to have been looked after in a long time. Stir it up. Is there meat in there? The fourth blessing. You, you, what did you do to his leg? There's a black thing sticking up in the stew. It seems to be a part of something bigger. You can't take all of it. Is it spider? Cutting board. Cookie jar, there's something inside that doesn't belong. Oh. Maybe I could feed this to the plant. Did the spider speak back? Yes. 
Okay, that's kind of intriguing. You told me what to do to get out of here. Really? Yes, I'll take care of it. Alright. I'll just be here. Found this, but I don't know how to use it. Can you pick your own lock or something? Sure can. Nice. is tied to the stake with black knives all over their body. The fifth blessing. There are so many things a knife can cut through. Oh, the black knife. When you pulled out a knife, the rest of them crumbled apart. Someone is tied to the stake. Can we help them? Or are they... I can't untie them? Third blessing, water provides the best healing. There's some kind of black rag here. Take it. Sure. There's a box on top of the vanity table that uses a combination lock. There's a drawing of a key on the box. I don't know. Painting of a window. Must be stuffy in here without any actual windows. Small bedside table, it's clearly too small, especially for this bed. Large basket filled with toys, which is all this. Any remote controlled cars or stuff in there? No. That's oddly specific. They're they're fun. Oversized bed. This bed isn't too large even for a demon. Wow, what a luxury. What's the code though? Bother with makeup if you look like she locked me in a cage. I'd say she's not nice. <laughs> Do I have anything that that was weird? I use the lock. Yellow pattern. 
arm sticks to your finger, you wipe it off. Portrait of a person with a brain for a head. I own it. I see a picture of a key. No? Oh. One. Three. We know there are just a lot of keys. a spider. He looked different last time, but it's still basically a spider. Oh, there's two of you now. Well, no matter. Miss Knives discovered my hiding spot. She's not fond of my presence. So she turned me into this. It's pathetic. Damn, she must have crazy powers. Not quite. You both must some time to look around this place by now. Did you figure out anything strange? You mean, aside from everything? Kind of a tall order, pal. Well, um, the walls are filled with creepy paintings. Maybe humans are just slow. None of what you're seeing is real, huh? Miss Knives is a strange case. She created this place out of her own desires. But the house doesn't actually exist. Convenient. So then, it's an illusion? To an extent, yes. That's also why I look like this. Miss Knives only sees what she wants to see. So, she sees you as a little spider on the wall? It would seem so. I see. Then to escape, you have to break the illusion. Remind her who she is. Or rather, who she isn't. That's where those objects you need to collect come into play. They seem to have some sort of connection to her memories. Once you find and unseal them all, come back and see me. Only a saving spot here. Painting with two protruding hands, expecting something. Looks like I can place something on these hands. Something covered with a drape. Remove the drape. The second blessing. You always said you wanted to try watercolor. I believe in you. like a flat black square. Take it with you. It's too large and heavy to carry around. It needs to be unsealed. How do I unseal it? Snipes keeps five important items in her house. I need to find and unseal each of them. I haven't found any. Masterpiece complete, the canvas turns into a sketchbook. We obtained a sketchbook. Let's 
sketchbook full of colors he splattered all over it. It's well then settling sketches. She's still pretty talented though. You want the sketchbook? Oh. Second blessing came as a gift. I always met Iris by the river and we sat and talked for hours. She told me all about the things I couldn't see, but it was different now. She spoke with such happiness and excitement, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. So to celebrate this miracle, I got you something. What? For me? Of course, your eyes work now, it's amazing, we have to celebrate. So, I stole this from my family, but shh, don't tell. Iris, a sketchbook and paints are so expensive. How? Why? You always said you wanted to paint. I believe in you. I'm so excited to see what you'll come up with. I couldn't believe it. My very own sketchbook and watercolors. There were so many things I could paint. Mother was always bedridden, so I made a habit of showing her my paintings. I started with trees and objects. Uh, but I took a liking to the portraits of people. They all have such distinct, beautiful faces. After only two days, I had already made eight portraits. But when he flipped to the next page, a different kind of portrait filled the brown paper. It was all painted in black, and it was twisted and scary. I hadn't painted this. I didn't even know who this person or creature was. Every morning after that, I found new, distorted portraits and pages, but I never remembered painting them. Maybe I need some... Obtained the night. incident with that boy's leg, the authorities knocked at our door again. Your daughter is a witch, they said to my father. They talked about how I hurt that boy, how my mother healed from a fatal illness, how my eyesight came back. They told us both me and my father are accused of witchcraft. Th that's nonsense, what are you talking about? The whole family needs to be cleansed. Your daughter will be tried for witchcraft, and due to your ties with her, you will be as well. Hold, hold on, wait. You've got it all wrong. She's not my daughter. I merely found her on the streets. She does not share my blood. Father? Take him. No, no, no. Please. I have nothing to do with this. When the men walked in the house, my father ran towards the back door. He was frantically bumping into the furniture to reach it. Find the girl, and burn his body. Burn the whole house, it's cursed. My father's blood ran down the hallway like a small river stream. It seeped into the cracks of the broken floorboards. This is all that boy's fault. The prison cell was cold and dark. There was nobody else there with me except for the occasional rat. People always said rats are dirty and dangerous. But at that moment, I appreciated the company. The adults told me my execution would be the following morning. They said I will be burned in order to purify the village. What does that even mean? Purify the village? I was alone with my thoughts for what felt like hours before someone came by. Hey, Iris? I get out of here. Um, listen, I'm so sorry. I, I told my dad about everything. What? No way. I, I thought if you might really be a witch, he could protect you. But because he knew we were friends. I'm sorry I did this. I didn't know he would kill your dad and, and you. Please, please take this knife. P please use it before they kill you. You'll be better off if you end it this way. What's happening? Why would she tell me something like this? What's going on? I, I love you and 
Father said burning is slow and painful. You're better off doing it this way. You're asking me to kill myself? Yeah, yes, because I still care about you. Is this what you call care? I didn't know that my vision would get blurry if I cry. I need to find two more things, eh? You soak the rag in the pool. Obtained a cold compress. My mother got worse one day. Father thinks she might die. I don't want mom to die. I brought her a cold compress to lower the fever. Mother always said that water provides the best healing. That night, I said a prayer to try to help her. I wished for her to get better, and I wished for her family to go back to normal, at least. The third blessing came as a surprise to everyone in the village. The morning after my prayer, my mother was out of bed and cooking. She said she felt much better. She even had strength to go to the market. You see, the cold compress did the job. Clean water is the purest thing we have. Are you sure you should be out of bed? This is the best I've felt in years. But the doctor said... I'm sure he was just wrong. You know, medicine isn't always entirely accurate. No more than two days later, some adults knocked at the door. They took my mother. They called her a witch. They claimed she used powers to get cured of a deadly illness. They said the village needs to be cleansed and that witch hunts were important for this. The next day, my mother was burned at the stake. Everyone watched and everyone cheered as she died slowly for a sin she did not commit. This was the first time I wished that I couldn't see anymore. So long, my goodness. I thought I tried this. Obtained a human foot. The first blessing. What I saw in the mirror was uglier than I had hoped. There seems to be something strange inside the cage. Try to get the black object. The black object. Is that the last one? I think it is. Inspect the object closely. As you look into it, the mirror regains its colors. Since I was a baby, so my parents thought of abandoning me. A blind child cannot help the family, they said, especially not a girl. But my mother says they loved me so much that they wanted to give me a chance. Oh, how grateful. Right now, I manage just fine. I do my chores, I go to the market, I help with the vegetable garden. Mother is sick, so she's always in bed. The doctor says she might be like this for the rest of her life. Every day, I go meet my friend at the riverbank. Iris is always talking excitedly about everything you could find outside of the village. She makes the world sound so bright. We made a deal that when we turn 14, we'll run away together and travel to the mountains and seas. But I was actually fine with a simple life. The bare minimum was enough as long as I had Iris. If there's one thing I wanted, it was just to be able to see her. The first blessing changed the course of my life.
I couldn't calm my breathing. I woke up one morning and I could see. I saw shapes and colors and my parents. I saw the broken dining table. I saw the weeds and vegetable garden. I saw the chipped cup that I drank from. I saw my wrinkled clothes. Despite not having much, they were the most beautiful things I laid my eyes on. I couldn't say the same about my reflection. Have I always looked like this? Were my eyes always so bland? Was my hair always so dull? Girl, you have those days. My parents gradually grew distant. People in the village stared at me and whispered behind my back. Why did they seem scared of me? Iris said she's a little nervous around me, but she was really happy that I got my eyesight. She called it a miracle. What if Iris is the witch? My parents started avoiding me. When I spoke to them, they always tried to brush me away. The only times their tired eyes met mine, I only saw hatred in them. Did they always look at me this way? The fourth blessing was something I would never wish for. Give it back! How'd you get your hands on such an expensive looking sketchbook, huh? Let's see. Stop, just give it to me. What the heck is this? They flipped through the pages of Mike's sketchbook and their faces got an awful ghostly white. Is she a witch? What are those? I didn't draw that. Hey, I didn't know you were a witch. I'm not. Pages and pages of creepy drawings. What is this, some kind of curse casting shit? I didn't make them, I don't know where they came from. What's the truth? Why didn't they believe me? Stop! What are you doing? You're just a filthy witch. I'm reporting you. You won't be needing this. Please don't break it! You don't even need all these colors. Nothing but black. You were never supposed to see anything but darkness anyways. Blind freak. Please stop. Give them back. Oh, poor little crybaby. I'm gonna report you. Father will be so proud I caught my own witch. What a little. I'm not a witch. I swear I'm not. What a little shit. No, don't. Please. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. What did I do to you? Please stop. I hate them. I hate my life. Why is this happening to me? Soon enough, the boy dropped the sketchbook. My eyes were focused on the crumpled pages of my sketchbook hitting the ground, so I didn't see it until someone screamed. The boy's right leg twisted almost 360 degrees, as if it was some form of nightmarish witchcraft. Then it twisted again. Something broke in his leg and he fell down, writhing in pain. I couldn't understand what I was seeing. Y you what did you do to his leg? Nothing, I didn't even touch him. Ah, it hurts. Call someone, we need help, help. You're a witch, you're a witch. I will destroy you, you will be burned. Burn in hell. The adults came and took him away. When I finally lifted my gaze from the dirt below my fingers, Iris was standing in front of me. Oh my gosh, is she actually the witch? My heart sank. Did she see what happened? Uh, are you alright? Uh, I, you didn't do that to his leg, right? No, of course I didn't. Here. Um, I came because my parents said that I'm not allowed to see you anymore. You're done.
good work. What now? Now, all these objects need to be burned in the correct order. What's the order? That's for you to figure out. The hands over there might, have, might provide a clue. I see. Make sure you have a way to light the fireplace as well. Oh, that's true. Are there any places I haven't checked yet? Lastly, this whole thing tends to culminate with candles going out. Therefore, if you see any candles, put them out. Understood. Okay, so I'm guessing the burning order is with the order of the blessings, which I do not remember. I wish it were written. And that's where we'll leave it. I will be back after going back to see the order of the blessings. I was also late with this because I was planning on filming a diff game, but I learned how terrible it is to move footage from my phone ask when it won't connect to my computer via a wire. But this is my longest playthrough yet, so I hope that makes up for its smiley face. Anyway, tune in next time to see if we make it out of this witch's house with zero deaths. See you next time. Bye bye.